Hey guys, it's me Edgar here to do my review on Iron Man issue 5 and oh boy, um, what an issue this was. A very interesting issue that gets very interesting. So the comic book opens up where we see Tony Stark talking to Patsy aka Hellcat. He tells her to rest up and pretty much he'll come back to her once he's done. He gets a team that is very interesting, and I'll just say this, I only know two of them, and all I'm going to say is, okay, very unknown characters that I do not care about, but whatever. I mean, I could pick a better team, but that's just me. I mean, I, I appreciate the writer who really chose unknown characters that really no one knows, or hasn't seen and I do appreciate that he took Ben Riley Scarlet Spider which was very awesome to see and yeah and the others were really cool overall just seeing them in a book after Tony Stark tells them to start working and pretty much they have to find Caliban uh, we see Hellcat in a secret origin to where we have it where she's been uh, experiment on when she was a very young age and then after that you have it where Caliban and Hellcat are very much connected to such ways that I'm like whoa okay and she shows up to Caliban and she pretty much thinks that she's dead to a lot of ways that Tony had to fly down there and find her and he he tells it real say hey it's me it's me Tony what's wrong with you no you're not dead you're not dead stop thinking that you are and I love it where they really humanized Tony Stark they really kind of made you feel like you know this is what Tony would say and I love that about Tony and I love that the fact that Tony is pretty much uh showing a, a side that I haven't seen in fuck so long I I haven't seen so long I mean, I haven't seen this Tony Stark, I believe the 80s Tony Stark uh, days, um, and that's a very long time. So anyway, he goes to meet Caliban, and oh boy, their conversation goes in a very, very twisted, dark way that I'm like, well, that into that, definitely. And I love that the fact that Kelban really gets into Tony's skin to such ways that, oh, screw you. And he just goes all out on Kelban, blasts the shit out of him so hard that it damages him. And to make it him to such a degree, you're like, are they trying to make him like the Terminator to an extent? Because him showing like a robotic, cybernetic uh, Terminator look really was a good notice and I just really enjoy that overall do I think Tony's team is dead I don't think so but however I would not be surprised if they are because they're a bunch of characters that no one has heard of in such ways that I wouldn't be surprised if they're dead um granted would I be upset that Ben Riley got killed off yet again yeah, I would be a little bit annoyed, but yet again, I, I'm hoping that they're alive. I'm hoping that they're still just alive and they just got beat up and they got into a massive blast. And overall, uh, Tony will find them. Overall. Um, do I think Hellband will be defeated by Iron Man? Yes, I do feel that way. I do think he will save Rhodey and X, Y, and Z. But, um... Overall, I'm going to give it a solid 9 out of 10. Really great. Really good. I definitely like the relationship between Tony and uh, Hellcat. Really great. I enjoy the fact you get to know Hellcat's secret origin. And I think we're going to find out more and more about it later down the line in this run. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Tell me your thoughts down below. Sorry for the long review. Um, I took so long of this comic because I've been busy doing other comic book reviews and or just busy doing uh, Final Fantasy 7 remake but um I really enjoy this comic and I really think it's one of the best comic books in Marvel comics right now I think it's really great um, but yet again that's just me 
Anywho, guys, tell me your thoughts down below. I'll see you guys next time. Stay tuned for issue uh, six and other issues of Iron Man. We'll be doing them very soon this weekend and also next weekend. I'll see you guys next time on the next Iron Man review.